Hi, I am Victoria McLean and welcome to my channel. Now, today is all about curiosities. Yes, the Christmas version of the Curation of Magical Curiosities by Ms. Cherry Wallace. Now, I have the box here. I haven't peeked. I've been very good. However, I have peeked at one of the items. Um, and to be completely honest, I already knew about it because I've seen so many spoilers online. It's been hard to avoid any of them. So come on now, stop sharing spoilers. It spoils it for everybody else. Um, so if you would like to see what's inside this box, then keep on watching. If you'd like me to bring Hogwarts to you, then why not subscribe to my channel? Let's get started. In case you hadn't noticed, I am a little blonde now. <laughs> it's crazy how blonde I've gone. I just went in to have my roots done and it ended up being platinum blonde. So I'm blonde, it's crazy. Plus the iconic red lipstick is back. Yes, Kylie Jenner, you are the best. <laughs> So here we have the curation of Magical Curiosities. Now, if you didn't see the first box that was released, um, it was incredible. It had a beautiful glass memory vial in it, just to name a few items, and the Philosopher's Stone. And all I know is it's Neville's plant. I don't actually know the proper name for it because it's quite awkward. Um, but I have heard nothing but good things about this box, hence the reason why I now have one. So let's have a look. I love the little Christmas bow. I was going to wear Ron's jumper, the one I bought from Primark, but I can't find it anywhere, so I'm wearing my Ravenclaw one instead. Oh, oh, right, okay. Speaking of, Happy Christmas, Neville. So, yes, I wonder what that is. Hello, friends. I couldn't resist sending Hedwig ever since the World Cup. The Ministry has been intercepting more and more owls, and she's too easily recognised. Obviously, that was Sirius Black. That reminds me, did you find the owl upon arrival? It's quite cold this winter, and it's flown quite, a quite the journey to get to you. I can't believe the festive season has arrived. I know, it's finally here. It's crazy. It's the most wonderful time of year, don't you think? Think. This year has been filled with such magic and our community is thriving. Our wizarding world has some of the most incredible, passionate and kind-hearted wizards and witches within it. And I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of your support with the curation of magical curiosities this year. I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a very magical New Year. Always Cherry. So this card, if you go to the Warner Brothers Studio Tour in Watford, London, you will actually see this card by Neville's Plant. Um, apparently, a bunch of children actually made the Christmas cards that are in the Gryffindor Common Room and they use them as props for the film. So I think that's really, really nice. So inside this box is lots of cardboard spaghetti and all different Christmas colours, reds and greens and well, brown isn't really a Christmas colour unless you look at the earth underneath the Christmas tree. However, it is in there. Not going to make a mess. I always make a mess and then they're impossible to pick up. So we have a few items in here. I'm not going to show you the inside of the box anymore. You're just going to have to continue watching to find out what's inside. So first of all, we have a little box with a bow on it. Now, for some reason, this does not like me today. Look at the colour. I look like I am sunburned. I am not. I'm telling you now, I am not. Let's have a look. On the, the top, it says Owl Post Service, September 91. Oh my gosh! It is Neville's Remember All. Oh wow, that's amazing. Oh, that is so so clever. Now the only other place you can get this is in the Wizarding World because they sell them. I have one and when you press a button it changes colour. But that is really, really pretty. Well done. Now just to cover, I am wearing some gorgeous jewellery today. These are Vanishing Cabinet Earrings by Fan Corner Creations on Instagram. So definitely check them out. I will put the link to their Etsy page down below for you. Oh, now this is lovely. It is a gorgeous wreath Hogwarts pin. 
and it has things like you've got a little lightning bolt there we've got the hogwarts h at the top there and we have a golden snitch here and a deathly hallows symbol there that's very nice let's have a look Do you know, I've been to see the film Frozen 2. Have you guys been to see it? Because I have just got the songs in my head. I saw it a couple of days ago and it's all I can think of at the moment. How pretty is that? And it's got some beautiful little um, dime, little uh, crystals around the edge there. The three houses, I think. Yes, they are really, really pretty. That's a lovely, lovely pin. Very nice. Now we have another box. Now to be point out, this is the... The larger box this is, I think there's 11 items in this box. Now I was gonna say, it's a chess piece with that crown there, and I was right. It is a chess piece from the wizarding chess that they play at the table in the Great Hall. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? That's very unusual and, and a really nice idea to have that in the box. That's really nice. A purpley, presenty type looking thing here, which is very nice. I like the bow. Ooh, that is very nice. That is really, really lovely. I love the colours. Just what you wanted, actually, as Mrs. Weasley tells the uh, the twins. No, not the twins. Ronald, isn't it? He has the scarf. No, Ronald has the really expensive jumper. The twins have the scarf, don't they? Am I wrong? I could be wrong. It's been a long time since I've watched Order of the Phoenix in full. I keep being interrupted by my husband asking me to turn Harry Potter off. It's just not fair, is it? So we have another item. It says, Happy Christmas, Harry. Happy Christmas, Ron. It's a nice box. Oh, well, wow. Oh my God, there's me saying I wanted to wear the Ron jumper today. I couldn't blame him find, I think it's in the wash. It's the gloves, it's gloves. It's Ronald Weasley gloves. They're obviously the same color as the jumper that he has in Philosopher's Stone. And the Harry ones. That's really, really lovely. I love that idea. By the way, as far as I know, this box is actually still available to buy, so make sure that you get it before it goes completely. But that's really, really lovely. My house is boiling, so I will not be trying them at the moment. And for those of you who have other Harry Potter fans out there, I know quite a few people who have bought this box as a Christmas present for somebody, and I think that's a brilliant idea, personally. A um, bit of a spoiler for me, because I know what's in it now. <laughs> No way. Okay, first of all, I should have looked at this. This is a massive hint. Oh, wow, this is gorgeous. And I've made these as well. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh my God, that is absolutely, look at that. It is a bottle from the Yule Ball. Oh my life, look at that. That is amazing. You guys are so clever to make these. Now what I did is I used Fimo, created the pumpkin lid at the top, which is quite a big one. And in fact, actually I've got one here. This is one I actually created, um, but unfortunately the oak, because these are 
three years old um, and the stars that I the stars the snowflakes that I actually painted on them have sadly faded they need to be repainted these were for my own Yule Ball which was called the Yule Dance 2017 you can probably find pictures on Google um, and I had beautiful ice sculptures in the style of the ice sculptures in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Um, and these were filled with uh, food colouring. So they were different colours, the blues, the reds, the greens, the yellows, the oranges. And they were all amongst um, fake ice with lights underneath it. Oh, it was so beautiful. So to receive this in this box is so lovely i'd have a row of them i would and um, i've actually ordered a load of the memory vials to go on my shelf because i think they're beautiful but that is so so lovely what an amazing idea we haven't finished yet we have another box with a bow on Aww. oh my god it's a christmas decoration of a flying key That is so going on my Christmas, my Harry Potter Christmas tree. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Oh my life, that is absolutely beautiful. That is so, so, so pretty. I love that. Oh wow, and it's got the Deathly Hallows symbol on the key there. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? I'm not sure why the Deathly Hallows would be on a flying key, um, because this came, this was the first film, and Deathly Hallows obviously wasn't until the seventh film, but still a very nice idea. So we have the flag of the Chudley Cannons, which was, I think, Ronald Weasley's team that he supported, uh, Quidditch. Uh, obviously not, uh, not not football, it was Quidditch, but the Chudley Cannons there in the flag. I'm not sure where I would put that. It doesn't exactly match the, uh, the background of my Harry Potter room. However, I may find a shelf for it to go on. I'm still working out the kinks. This room is still under construction, kind of. So um, yeah, I really like that. The colours are very vibrant, very well made. It's quite solid. It's quite nice. Uh, we have, oh, I can see what this is through the through the actual paper. Talk about your ball themed. So we have a white envelope and inside is a Yule ball invitation. No, this wasn't an invitation, was it? These were on the table, weren't they? <gasps> Look at that Yule ball. How beautiful is that and of course whenever I think of Harry Potter Christmas I think of when Ron and Harry were sat in the Great Hall playing chess because when you that's when you really see um, Hogwarts at Christmas in that beautiful beautiful scene and the Yule Ball and of course the Weasleys when they go to the Weasleys for Christmas um, I love that and you see the um, the Santa uh, skating around on the cake as well. Do you remember that? That was lovely. But this is so, so pretty. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, together with the Ministry of Magic, request the pleasure of your company. So it is an invitation. I thought it was on the table. The Yule Ball to celebrate Christmas and the Tri-Wizard Tournament. And we have Hogwarts and the Ministry of Magic. At uh, 21.30 hours, the traditional Christmas waltz, strictly dressed to impress, except bless Ron, <laughs> with those dress throws and the fluff, and he smells like his great aunt <laughs> That was so funny. Um, uh, to, um, to be held at 1900 hours Christmas Day at the Great Hall Hogwarts School. Um, for me, that is the epitome of Harry Potter at Christmas. I loved the Yule Ball. Now there's one other item I haven't opened, so I'm gonna do that now. So we have one item that wasn't in the box. It was actually in the packaging, um, out of the box, because it was actually too big. So I think I know what this is because this might be the thing that I saw. It is 
a Yule Ball poster. How gorgeous is that? It's so magical. At the second one stroke, Yule Ball, the Yule beverages will be served. And at the first one stroke, lead your partner to the dance floor. And at the third one stroke, your feasts will be served. How beautiful is that? And I love the feel of it. It feels, it feels like plastic, but it's not quite plastic. It's really, really lovely, really nice. Again, not sure where I can put it up in here, because again, dark arts, you know. <laughs> See now, Geek Gear really need to do a dark arts box for Halloween next year, I think, because I would just be all over that like a rash. But it is really nice to have a Christmas themed box. Um, it's, Christmas is very much very Harry Potter orientated this year, and it is every year, isn't it? But this year we've had far more advent calendars, we've had more um, subscription boxes covering Christmas as well. So it's been really, really nice and far more Christmas themed products as well, especially with Primark. Now, tell a lie, we have another item. It is Ronald Weasley's Howler. Look at that. Isn't that so gorgeous? Now I have a funny feeling this has been painted by Cherry Wallace. Um, we will have a look at the little list of items. Yeah. So we have the Curation of Magical Curiosities, a Wizardry Box, a Maxima Box. So this is the Maximum Box. Uh, Molly Weasley's Knitted Scarf. Have you ever wanted to be a Weasley? Designed to look like the ones uh, given to Fred and George um, during Christmas dinner at number 12 Grimmauld Place, yeah, uh, in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Now you can feel like part of the family. Flying key ornament. The flying key from Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone are some of my favourite props. You can adorn your Christmas tree with your very own key, flying key. No broomsticks required to catch it. What would this time of year be without all of the festive decorations? That's very true. Oh, and did you spot the Deathly Hallows symbol? Yes, I did. Wizard's chess piece. The moment I first discovered Wizard's Chess, I really wanted to play the game. This is a replica of one of the Queen's pieces you see in Har Harry and Ron playing with in at Christmas in 1991 in Philosopher's Stone. That's totally barbaric. That's all Wizard's Chess, as Ron would say to Hermione. Howler artwork. Ronald Weasley, how dare you steal that card? Do you know my kids get me to do that all the time? It ruins my throat, but they love when I scream that. I really enjoyed painting this mandrake art artwork for my previous box. So I, th uh, sorry, mandrake art right, for my previous box. So I, th I'd do, I thought I'd do another one this time. I've always been incredibly fond of howlers, though I'm sure Ron would disagree. <laughs> Remember all. Now I definitely need one of these, but it has to tell me what I've forgotten, which it doesn't. Uh, don't worry if you've remembered, if you remember all hasn't turned red, it just indicates that you haven't forgotten anything. Mine would flash red and have a massive great siren, I forget that much. Um, we can't all be as forgetful as Neville. This is a particularly useful magical artifact with some pretty remarkable powers and I wanted you to have one for when you enter a new year. I know there's a few new year's resolutions I need to sort out. Keep this item out of muggle hands and to definitely keep it away from Draco Malfoy. But then saying that, if Draco hadn't thrown it, Professor McGonagall wouldn't have seen such a brilliant seeker he would make. Everything happens for a reason. Chudley Cannon's Quidditch team flag. Show your support for one of the best Quidditch teams out there. Mine personally is um, the Bulgarians because of Victor Crumb. You know me and my love for Victor Crumb. <laughs> well, according to Ron, at least this flag was designed to look like the one proudly displayed in the Gryffindor boys' dormitory next to Ron's bed. What Quidditch team would you support? I think I just answered that, didn't I? <laughs> Yule Ball Invitation, designed by Danny from Muggle Magic DIY. This stunning Yule Ball Invitation is one of my favourite paper replicas. It has been an amazing honour to have such a talented wizard, talented wizards working inside this box, and I'm so excited to be able to share it with you all. Not only is there gold foiling, there's silver, silver too. Nifflers are definitely going to want to steal this. 
so keep it safe. Well, I have a few nifflers on my shelf, uh, my Stife niffler for a start, um, so I better hide it from that little monkey. Do you have your dress robes or, or dresses ready? Now, I do. I am going to a beautiful event on Tuesday, um, which I will be covering on my channel and I'm covering to help, I'm helping cover with the Leaky Cauldron. So you'll best check out for that video, but I will be showing you my dress robes personally uh, to all my followers out there. So you better keep an eye. Hogwarts wreath enamel pin. Now I did love this wreath. Merlin's beard. This is another stunning hard enamel designed by one of my favourite witches, uh, Amelia. Wear your house, wear your house pride this season with this pin that encompasses all Hogwarts houses within this beautiful festive wreath. Oh, and Ginny dear, I'm awfully sorry, but my quill must have been cursed last time, as I previously spelt Amelia's Instagram wrong. If you'd like to check out Amelia's magical work, you can find her at instagram.com ameliab83. Yule Ball Bottle. Now, I think this has to be my favourite item in this entire collection. Did you see the luxurious Yule Ball uh, was in 1994? Oh my God, that's at, what's that, 25 years ago? I don't know about you, but I certainly wanted to be there. Around the towering ice sculptures, there were glass pumpkin bot juice bottles, and I've always thought how brilliant they'd look within the, a collection of Wizarding World items. Well, my Guinness World Record collection has now gained an amazing item, that's for sure. Do you think you'd like pumpkin juice? No. I have a bottle of it. It tastes horrible. I personally not so sure I'd like it. Maybe I need to make some to find out. Well, you could do, I suppose. Harry and Ron Christmas gloves. This is an ingenious idea, to be fair. The knitted jumpers that Molly Weasley made for Harry and Ron are iconic. I love mine. Unfortunately, I couldn't convince her to knit you all a jumper, as she's already got her hands full having to look after all the Weasleys. But I hope these Molly-inspired gloves will keep your hands warm this winter. I don't know if I'll use mine, only because they are so lovely. Yule Ball Poster. Another magical treat that has been designed by Danny from Muggle Magic DIY. I loved the Yule Ball invitation so much that I couldn't resist including more of Danny's work. Add a little more festive magic to your home this festive season. I've got to say, this box has been incredible. Um, both Geek Gear and Cherry Wallace have done a fantastic job of this. And I've got to say, I think... My favourite items are going to be this gorgeous Yule Ball bottle, the Yule Ball invitation, definitely, and the Harry and Ron gloves, and <laughs> I can't make up my mind exactly. <laughs> and I really, really loved this pin badge. It is so beautiful. I really love it. I'm just not sure. It's going to have to obviously go on, because um, I've got, I don't know if you guys have seen, but I'll put the link up above. I have a pin collection um, and I've bought some gorgeous frames from Ikea. Now, I've got to be honest, I did get the idea from Cherry Wallace. She put the link down below underneath her pin video. Um, so I bought them ages ago, but I'm running out of room and I've got so many more pins that I think I actually need another two cabinets. Um, so this will have to go with those when I get my new cabinets. So thank you ever so much for watching. This has been an incredible journey with the a curation of Magical Curiosities Christmas Maxima Edition. I've loved it. Um, let me know in the comments section what was your favourite item out of all this. Did you buy her box as well? Which item was your favourite? I'd love to know. Um, and also, if you bought the um, if you didn't buy the Maxima version, what items were missing in the Maxima version? I'd be interested to know that because obviously I'd love to know if Geek Gear will be selling these items that weren't available separately on their website which I know they tend to do so thank you ever so much for watching if you would like me to bring Hogwarts to you then why not subscribe to my channel make sure that you hit the like button if you like this video and also the notification bell so you don't miss any more of my videos until next time take care I love you all I'll speak to you very soon Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure that you subscribe to my channel. 
invite your friends and also like this video and let me know down below in the comment section what did you think of this video what would you like me to cover until then thank you so much take care i love you all and i'll speak to you very soon bye bye